Hello, I am Stephanie and today I'm going to make a recap of March 2017. So I can't say I was very productive in March. I only finished one artwork, which is desertification. So I only finished this artwork and I sent this one also to an art competition, but I doubt it will make it. Now with some fresh perspective, I think it's not quite as strong as I want it to be. It's a bit too all over the place and that is fine. I still like it, but I think I could have made it much better or I would make it much better if I had to rework it, which I actually might do. I think it's interesting to pick a theme and rework on it a few times. So that is something I consider doing. Basically desertification is simply to attract attention to one of the consequences of climate change, which is the transformation of perfectly healthy environments into arid, uh, very dry uh, zones and habitats where nothing grows anymore in the soil is not protected anymore and then slowly transforms into something that is unusable. It is one of the many consequences of climate change, but also I would say one of the most complicated ones, because it's very difficult to plant stuff again there, as the soil is eroded and lacks a lot of nutrients, so it's difficult to make it usable. Now it's very clear to me that in my artwork in general I'm trying to oppose um, the vibrant biodiversity in nature and I'm always working on it in a very precise way and on the other hand the destructiveness of human activities which I tend to show with very simple lines, very clean lines. It's kind of the direction I've, I'm have i headed to and that I've been working on. It, this video took a bit longer for me this time because I saw an artist friend who's living here where I live and I talked about my work, I showed him everything and I discussed what I was trying to say and what was important to me and if he really opened my eyes and offered some leads and actually brilliant ideas on how to push my work further. And I'm really grateful for that. It's the, the ideas are really good and I'm working on them. So I've been working on monochrome sculptures. I was afraid it would look kind of too monochrome and that something might get lost from it. But in the end, I think it looks actually pretty awesome and it works really great. So I'm, I'm really happy to have tried those monochrome sculptures in case uh, you need some advice in your own artwork or you're feeling a bit lost. If you don't have an artist friend, it's, I think, honestly, one of the best ways to get further as an artist. And this is my number one advice in this video, and there's going to be a, a few other adv advices, is to talk to friends, to artist friends. Not friends, I mean, it's always good to talk to friends, but usually they have no clue on how to help you further, because they're not, unless they're very interested in art, and they know a lot about art, then they might help you. But otherwise, they don't think like artists do, and so they are not very helpful. They might be just like, oh, wow, that's really good, and I like that. But that's not helpful. You need some healthy criticism. Otherwise, you're just going to stand where you are, and you're not going to uh, be able to easily push yourself forward. So that is my first advice. Second advice would be to push yourself. If you have an idea, try to make it cleaner. So in my case, it is about the human activities and destruction. Right now, I do it with paint and very clean lines and how I can make that cleaner. So I don't want to say too much because I feel like it's going to be very interesting and I really want you to see it once it's done. So I'm going to have to wait for that. Another piece of advice, which I sort of forgot this month and which honestly was a big problem for me. Um, March was kind of an odd month. I was, I was really sad. I realized I hadn't seen people uh, apart from my boyfriend in over a month. <laughs> I know. <laughs> 
I know I can be a bit of an introvert. So I, I mean, I was, I had seen, you know, shop people, people on the market and stuff like that. So I was not, I didn't stay at home for one month. I did go out a bit, <laughs> but I didn't actually saw any friends. I didn't really talk to anyone. I don't even think I Skyped during one month. So I was really low and, um, so that there was that. Then I also got rid of all my miniatures and miniature food. So that also took a huge chunk out of March. And then finally, oh, and I got sick. So March kind of sucked, <laughs> uh, but it's over now. And it ended really well because I had the discussion with my artist friend and it really pushed me. And I'm really excited right now about my artwork because I finally see possibilities to make it less childish and more more adult in a way. Um, so that's really good. I'm very excited about that. Another thing is I only worked on, on this one artwork, the desertification one, and that is very bad. You want as an artist to, to work at least on two different artworks at once, if not more simply because sometimes you need some perspective, like you're working over a few days on something and then you're like, you're kind of stuck, which is normal. Usually you get stuck at some point in your artwork and you need to do something else. And if you don't have any other artwork to do, then you're kind of in, in sort of limbo. What are you going to do? You, you don't doing anything productive. And then I was, I was feeling like, no, I really want to make that artwork, I want to make it really good, so I don't want to start on another artwork. But in the end, all I did was losing time, and not in a good way. I mean, it's good to take breaks, it's good to rest, but if you're just waiting for you to get better, to get back to your artwork, and because you're stuck, then it's just not productive. So. At least work on two artworks at any given time, that way you are much better off because you are going to have some perspective from one artwork from one artwork to the other and you are going also to make much better art actually because you can bring some ideas from one into the others and and the other way around. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I don't really have anything else. Oh, kind of a sad news, I guess. I did not win uh, without much surprise. I didn't win the competition I sent the Indonesian deforestation in. But then again, I get it because when I see the artwork now, so this one, when I see it now, um, yeah, I see how I can make it better. I'm like, okay, yeah, that was kind of stupid of me to do and uh, not clean enough and kind of... But when I see it now and, and for a couple of weeks, I was like, I don't know, I, I liked it in the beginning and when I was looking at it, it was like, mm, uh, something's not right. And again, my artist friend, honestly, he's so brilliant. Um, he asked me just one question. He said, if, if you would cut the artwork in two. Sure, um, the, this one part is clear, it's, it's, it's completely you, so that's you. But if, if someone sees only that, would you really want to be... Is this really your artwork? Is, is this something that you would do on its own? And I and was like, no, that's not something I would do on my own. And that also explains why I think it's not as good as it is. But that's that's fine. It is done. It's not awful. And it's good also to make artworks you are maybe not so happy with them after a while. I did another thing which you've seen because I posted all the videos about the other artwork I made in March uh, with the student room, although it's not finished. And I kind of... I'm not really inspired by it. So I don't know when I'm going to finish it. The idea is still to make it completely lost and abandoned and stuff like that. But I'm just not excited about miniatures. I never really was and I'm like, I don't want to. I feel like this is going to go into my bookshelf and well, stay there. 
So yeah, this is pretty much it. I don't really have anything else to add. Um, as I said, not a very productive month. And yet, in a way, it was because of that one discussion. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, maybe subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. getting a bit sidetracked.